final to come and it's men's singles. Kenta Momota, the reigning world champion and current world number one against the former world champion and former world number one, Victor Axelson. So when we look at the race to Guangzhou standings at the moment, Victor Axelson is already at number one. So whether he wins or loses today's final, he will consolidate that place. But Kenta Momoto is currently at number four. Whatever happens today, he will go up to number two. He cannot overtake Victor Axelson on that race to Guangzhou. But when we look at the men's singles draw from quarterfinals onwards, there was four seeds and three of those seeds progressed through to the semi-final stage. Mention needs to be made of Ankar Long, the first player from Hong Kong, past the second round of the men's singles discipline at the All England Championships since 2007. And actually, it's the sixth consecutive of six World Tour events where a men's singles player who's been unseeded has reached the semi-final stage. Let's hear it for the players. First up, the number one seed from Japan, Kento Momota! The world champion, Kento Momota. The current world number one took over the number one position from Victor Axelsen on the 27th of September last year. This is third final of the year. He's trying to win back-to-back -back World Tour titles. A week ago, he was in the final in Germany when he beat teammate Nishimoto. And let's have a massive Yonex All England welcome for the number six seed from Denmark, Victor Axelsen. The former world champion and former world number one, Victor Axelsen, trying today to become the first man from Denmark to win the All England men's singles title for 20 years since Peter Gader beat Taufik Hidiak in the 19. 99 final. He, like his opponent, has already won a title this year. His was two weeks ago in Barcelona at the Spain Masters. Well, there has been plenty of Danish support all week. There always is here in Birmingham. There's always a tour organised by the Danish Federation to bring fans here to the All England Championships. And for Victor Axelsen, a man who prior to this year had never been past a quarter final, but then so too never had Momolta. Sven Suri of Belgium, our umpire for this one. The toss of the coin, Momolta wants to serve. And Axelsen has chosen ends. And I suspect if Axelsen had won the toss, he would have chosen ends anyway. Well, two of the biggest stars in our sport. And it ought to be said that this is the first time in 16 years since 2003 that either Lindan, Chen Long or Lee Chong Wei has not contested the All England final. Those three men totally dominating the men's singles events here for the last 15 years. But now a new generation and Kento Momota, the 24-year-old from Kagawa on Shikuku Island, the smallest of the four main islands that make up Japan. Uh, this is a 24th week as world number one. And as I was saying, he took over the number one position from his opponent of today. His uh, matches uh, so far, well, all of them in straight games. 
in the quarterfinal. He beats a former world number one, Kadambu Shrikanth, the number seven seed. And in the semi-final, the unseeded Ankar Long, who really has had a wonderful tournament. So to the tall man, Victor Axis in the number six seed, 25-year-old born in Odense, the birthplace of Hans Christian Andersen, the famous author of fairy tales. I wonder if it'll be a fairy tale ending for Victor Axelson today. He was talking earlier about this is a dream coming true, playing an All England final. And en route to today's final, in the quarter final, he beats the beaten finalist from four years ago. His teammate Jano Jorgensen in the semi final, he beat the defending champion, Shi Wu Chi, who had actually been in the final for the last two years. Needed three games to do it, though, as indeed he had needed in the very first round against Samir Verma of India. So this will be the 12th meeting between the two, and of the previous 11, Kento Momota has won 10 of them. The last time they played was in the semi-final of the Indonesian Masters earlier this year. That was just 30 minutes. Look at the score in that second game, 21-4. The last time that Axelson won, the only time that Axelson won, was in 2014 in the second round of the German Open. That's five years ago. In fact, the last game won by Axelsen was in 2015 in the group stage of the Super Series finals. So, as I was telling you, Sven Sari of Belgium, our umpire, Amanda Ballam from England, our service judge. Now oh, listen to the fans, the Danish fans chanting Victor's name. <laughs> it's a highly anticipated match, this it one. It is, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Victor Axelsen, Denmark. And on my left, Kento Momota, Japan. Kento Momota to serve. Level. Play. Well, I was saying that it's been 20 years since Adain won the men's singles title here. If Kento Momota wins, he'll make history because no player oh, no. from Japan has ever won the men's singles so, here. But there has been a player from Japan in the men's singles final. That was nine years ago. Kenichi Targo lost out to Lee Chong Wei in that final. But Morton, it is fairly devastating, the head-to-heads. If you're a Danish fan, there must be something in the styles of play that really doesn't suit Victor Axelsen. There, there is no doubt that... Um... Kento Momota has got uh, Victor Axelsen's number at the moment, but I, I so hope for this match that uh, Victor Axelsen can draw some confidence from the fact that he played really well yesterday in the semi-final against Shi Yu Chi and can bring that confidence into the match today, because as you very rightly said, when they played last time 21-4 in the second game, it looks like Victor is kind of developing a mental block here. Yeah. <laughs> Missed it. Well, looks up to the lights in the arena here. Uh, but I actually suspect Two, one. that it was nerves rather than the lights. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, oh, there we go. Your name there. Oh. Mr. Frost, four times, eight consecutive finals. But that's not the record. No, of course it's not. Nine consecutive finals from Rudy Hartono. Is that right? Well, I'm not sure, but I, I'm quite sure I haven't got the record. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, pretty special what you achieved. To all. out yeah and this is the problem for Victor this is the major problem is that uh, Kenta Momota has got a safer basic game than what Victor Three, has got so Victor two. must play patiently and wait for his chance and try not to make the mistake and still create enough chances to go on the attack and to win it and then when he goes on his attack he cannot rely on what I call a one-shot attack it must be followed up and followed up and followed up. So it's a tall order for Victor. Do you think he'll draw confidence not only from his performance yesterday against the defending champion, but also from the Four, fact two. that his teammate Anna Zantansen beat Kento Momoto in the final of the Indonesian Masters in three games? So. Presumably, he's looked at that. Presumably, they trained together. Presumably, he's said they to talked. himself, "With <laughs> if Antonsen can beat him, then I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. I, I think you're right in many ways, but I also think you're, you're wrong because so many people say that Anas Antonsen and uh, Victor Axelsen is having the same playing style, they look the same and so on. But it's actually not true in the sense that Anas Antonsen is more courageous when it comes to his follow-up. Yeah. And that's so important when you play someone like uh, Kento Momota. Oh, that's brilliant. And this is a shot he must cover. I've said it on many occasions already in other matches. This is the favourite shot two. from Momota. The smash down the line from that round ahead situation must be covered. For, from whoever is playing against him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, he changed his mind and then <laughs> tried a trick shot. Yeah, that was quite extraordinary. Yeah, between the legs. Six, Watch this. Watch two. this. He's going to yeah. leave it. Going to leave it. Oh, going to play it. <laughs> All England final is at the moment for... Exhibition trick shots. That's it. That, that's the follow up he wants. Yes. So, two follow ups. That's it. That's the way he must play. He must play with that kind of confidence, that kind of pace, and that kind of pressure. The big Three, smash coming here, and six. then that follow-up. But you have to take that off uh, for, Mo for Mota. You know, he's so steady in what he's doing. If you look at it from the point of view of uh, Kento Momota here, I think he will be very happy, 7-3 up, and sort of secured it. a nice little lead here in the beginning where Axison maybe was trying to go all out and trying to sort of shake him up a bit. Yeah. Find the line? Yes, yes, it, it is. Did. Yes, it did. But it's coming from a situation, two good defensive shots, this Four, one cross court, seven. then the lift, and then that counter attacking opportunity. Yeah.
this way, Momota is winning for sure. So I can say that. Yeah. Momota in that rally never seemed to be rushed. Didn't seem to Eight, have to move that four. much while Momota was pushing Axelsson from corner to corner. Axelsson used a lot of energy in that one and he was on the back heel most of the time. He was under pressure, didn't get any opportunities for attacks. And as you rightly said, Momota was not even using two grams of energy. Yeah. Third final in his fourth tournament this year. Physical scratch Five, of the head four. reveals his mental state of mind. Yeah, how to find the answers. Yeah. Beautiful attack and clear. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Five, and a very, very nine. nice variation to all these attacking downward shots and suddenly this attacking clear is coming at a completely different height. It's really good variation here by Axison. Here, Momota was Six, pushed for pace. Nine. He was really under a lot of pressure on that backhand around the head situation, and that was opening up for the smash to his forehand side. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Immediately apologises, he didn't mean to hit him. Oh, so that is a perfectly legitimate tactic. Seven, immediate nine. apology. Yeah, you can tell how tall he is when, when he's standing <laughs> next to the net, can't you? Yeah. Six foot four. And then there's this 152, Fast punch clear. Yeah, Momoto is waiting for the attacking shots, Eight, the downward nine. shot. And then this attacking clear is coming, the very, very fast clear is coming. And that proved twice now to be a very good weapon. Four straight points. Clearly long. 
Set is over. Ten. Eight. second in this opening game I was scared that the match might develop as what is done on previous occasions but I think this is a very good comeback by uh, Victor Axelsen and he's really close to the gap just to one point now and uh, the game the confidence everything is getting so much better for him and it's giving us a fantastic match It's gone long to the mid-game interval. Pinto Momota in the ball. with a two-point advantage. But I'm with you. Morton, I thought at one stage you, a left-hander could run away with this. Yeah, completely walk away with it. Always to score at four up. Mindful. Mindful. Yeah. Seems so deep in conversation <laughs> yeah. with Kenneth Jonasson. He didn't hear a thing. No, he was absolutely <laughs> focused into what coach was saying. And what 11, was Kenneth saying? They were overall quite happy with things, and Player. just what we said in 11 9 is, uh, is very close. He wants, Kenneth wants Victor to take a little bit more chances at the front. Yeah, which is what you were saying. And you can see he was stepping into that while he was yeah. going forward. But Momota clever there, playing to the back end of the court. And of course, the forward movement there by Victor Axelsen was all in vain. Coach. Ten, twelve. Yeah, he was a doubles player. And he used to play doubles and mixed. He used to play with Jim Laugerson, didn't he? Our colleagues they did. from they did. Danish television. Yeah. They even played together as juniors and won the nationals as juniors as well in men's doubles. Oh, good smash. And really Seven perfect over. placement. Perfect. 30, 10. Always difficult for the tall players to get out of the way of the body smash, give themselves the freedom to play the shot. Yeah, Victor was left with uh, choices that were not that pleasant to him because he got to that forehand late. 
Had he played the drop shot, he would have been in trouble. He flicked it, and that was trouble as well. Not that defense. Yeah. You have to move him. 11, 13. And Inkalong yesterday did that really well. Thank you. I think that equals the longest rally, doesn't it? Oh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, but as long as it was directed into the backhand side of uh, Momota, he got away with it. He did. He did. <laughs> Look at this spectator. <laughs> yeah, he lost his patience in 14, this one. 11. Again, once again, this little bit of an um, exhibition shot. Yeah. Took it late. Yeah, in fact, I said a moment ago that 34 to what's he called the longest rally. The longest running was 43 shots. 14, 11. Yeah, it's waiting for the and he's missed it. 15, 11. Next time. Momota must play to the back line in a situation like this. He, he can see that Victor is moving up, moving the base position up and up. So next time a, a similar situation is there, quite convinced he will play to the back line. Yeah. is not really using his very good net play. He's lifting most, he's pushing most away from the net. Oh, oh. I just said it, and then he's using it. It's always nice when the player's obliged to just to demonstrate what you're talking about, isn't it? It is. But this is one of the first few times he's actually done this, and he's got an excellent net, net play. Yeah. Really well demonstrated here. And yeah, that was guessed. Good anticipation by uh, Kenton Momoto on that cross court smash. Seventeen, eleven. Well, since the mid-game interval, Kento Nomota has really stamped his authority on this. And he's 6-2 up. 
since the mid-game interval. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Six of the last eight points. See that the taxes and this finding it more and more and more difficult to find 18, the winners. Yeah. Eleven. This should be one. Uh, You can almost see that he doesn't yeah. have that belief. deep inner belief. Yeah. Of course, he can say to himself, today's another day, like Chen Ufei. Yes. Her first ever victory over Tai Su Ying. But I'm not, he doesn't really believe it. He doesn't look to me as if he believes it. No, nope. and that's another one there. Yeah. Yeah, that's tame. He, he, it's tame he, resistance. He cannot find the answers. He don't know where to find the points. 20, and the problem is that uh, Momoto is just so much safer when it comes to basic game. Yeah. Game point opportunities. For oh, the current world number one. Oh. Well, lucky net board. And 21-11 opening game. game. 21, 11. Uh, he leaves his kit bag for his coaches to carry. 24 minutes into the match. And one game to the good. På en eller anden tidspunkt, jeg ved ikke, skal jeg bare vente til ankommer, fordi altså, du skal ligge og skifte, og du må faktisk næsten gøre det fra duel til duel. Men det vigtigste, det er, at du ikke bare brager på din første chance, hvis, den ikke er, hvis du ikke har fuldt træk op til den. Ikke? Hvis den ligger på bort, så skal du slå den møde, og du slå den først. Ja, ja. Det føler bare ikke lige meget, hvad jeg står inde her lige nu. Det føler, at jeg henter dem. Det kan godt det, fordi jeg bare står for stereotypen. Ja, en lille smule ud, fordi det er lidt for tidligt. Okay. Okay. Men. Det er vigtigt, det er. Du tør at slå det bløde angreb først, ja. når vi ikke er til stige op til Ja, du skal stadigvæk stige op til Slå kigeren på samme måde, ikke? Så skal du tro på, at også når han holder nedad, at de diagonaler, du giver ham, at de også snart byder fra ham. Ja. Ikke? Ja, det må vi åbne. Ja. Det skal du tro på. Så. Så. Så sker det på forbanen. Ja. Bid. Ja. Vi spiller hans baglinje, eller i hans baghånd, ja. noget hårdere nu. Ja. Så husk, de op. Det er to angreb i samme tid, han ligger så vis, at du slår plus. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. lot of intensive talk between Axelsen and coach Kenneth Jonas. Was there any advice about change of tactics or anything? That was a long talk and uh, it was a difficult talk because Victor is starting the whole conversation by saying, I don't know what to do. Whatever I do, it's just coming back. That was the first and opening. And from there, yeah. You know, it was it was frustration from from Victor and uh, Kenneth Jonasson was really trying to calm him down and say, yeah, but you know, you're doing okay, and hopefully uh, what we're doing now is also biting his legs a bit. Maybe he's also getting a little bit tired. We have to believe it's so and so. Um, Kenneth wants uh, Victor to start when he's attacking with the. Um, not 100% power smashes, unless, of course, there's an open opportunity. But then half smashes first to open up for the bigger ones after that. But he's very frustrated, uh, Victor Axelsen. Yeah. And uh, I think he will be trying very hard now 
in the beginning and trying to get back into it, but uh, should a sort of a decent gap suddenly develop, I think he would get trouble. Yeah. One ball. Kenta Momota is getting tired. Over. It's not going to happen. No. Two, He's casually one. moving around in the court and playing his good shots, and uh, it's in total control. The only thing I would say, though, Morton, is that I know that Momota has got the normal knee strapping on, but I think above that left knee, I think there's some thigh strapping on. Yeah, there's this there is, yeah. yes, there is indeed. Whether it's hamstring or whether it's thigh, I don't know. But it doesn't seem to hamper him too much, no, I must say. His movement is still good. Yeah. And here it comes. Yeah. And that's what I call a not one-shot attack. This is the first smash is going for the big one, then it's coming back. But look at this one. Then the second Three, one is coming as well. You are not letting your opponent out of the sack, you know, and, yeah. you know, you just tie the knot and say bye-bye. Yeah. message there by picking up the shuttle himself he's trying to stress Momota a bit yeah that was much more about angle rather than power No, that he had to do it. I was just about saying now the big smash is coming. He had to do it. Four, three. Look at how he's falling out of court. running of this second game so far. from both the players. Five, three. Oh, the 
pushes long. And yeah. he attempted the same serve. As yeah. The, but again, it's into the backhand, so it's OK. Four, yeah, it's five. a sort of drive serve, isn't it? It is. It's like the doubles. Amazing defensive shot there from Momota. First, Five, a very, four. very good lift. Look at that. Got deflected by the net board. But that's where I think you have to restart the, the rally. I say, okay, really well done. Can't do much about that. So we go one more time. You have to send that kind of signals. Just wide. to get behind the shuffle quickly. Yesterday, didn't he? He did, and it worked very well. <laughs> he actually won that one. Seven, six. A clever play by Mamota. This most players will only be able to play the smash down the line, and Victor, of course, have to cover that with his forehand. And then he's completely committed and is coming to the backhand side of the body. Really well played by Mamota. And there's another one there. hit on the final shot from Axis, and that it was jolly effective. you wanted there's no doubt uh, that was well played and that's what Anas Antonsen was very Eight, successful doing seven. when he played Momota in the Indonesian Masters in January oh that was going out wasn't it
got to be careful with that, Axelson, because I think that Momoto is beginning to look for that. Nine, eight. That's one of the um, shots that Axelson is playing quite a lot. When he's following up, he's going cross court on the forehand side and he's going cross court on the backhand side. And that routine needs to be changed a bit. Yeah, it's too predictable. There, Morton. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but no, no one is supposed to see it. <laughs> Ten, nine. Yeah. Good play there. Pinto. is a little bit more aggressive lately, Ten, I think. It's not really paid off for him, but he has been more aggressive. Yeah. Oh, that is absolutely superb. Finding the line. Yeah. 11-10. Interval. One point advantage at the mid game interval is with the world number one. Well, they were so deep in conversation, and Jonasson forgot to put the ice pack on the back of the neck <laughs> of <laughs> Axelsson. Yeah, that's true. What what was being said there? I, he, Kenan wants uh, Victor to change of pace a little bit more. Um, and ten. again, start with half smashes uh, before he's opening up. But um, this time, I think Victor was much, much more positive. He believed a little bit more. That's good. Eleven all. Oh, it was a perfect net shot. Kento. That's amazing. We got the first one back. Yeah, it's a good guess. Really good anticipation by Momota. But you have to commend uh, Victor Axelsen's spinning net shot. That one there, we see there. 12, that 11. is setting him up really well. Good follow up. But it was the net shot that did the trick. Terrific <laughs> angle. Thirteen, eleven. I'm quite curious to find out if I ever find out 
But um, when Mamota is playing his basic game, moving Victor around, depending on his his defence and so on, taking a few counter-attacking opportunities, Mamota is winning quite comfortably. Since he started to attack, he's not really generated what he wanted. And on top of that, Axison is getting more counter-attacking opportunities that he's scoring on. So, I wonder why... You know, Momota is not just going back to what's working. Yeah. Well, I think you're right. I think we'll probably never 14, know. 11. Nope. Oh, my word, that's a terrific smash. with the Tortoise. Five straight points. and totally <laughs> deceived. Yeah, I actually think that Victor said nice. string yeah and that is so annoying if you're the opponent 13, 15. this is where you think this should be my point a different player in this second game than he did in the first, Axelson. 17, completely out of court is that one coming back there's no way he can get the next one no I'm try sure. to have a look at this one of course it's a big smash 18, 13. but the interesting thing is that victor is not only playing for this match and this title and this tournament he's playing for a lot of future matches as well yes when these two are playing in uh, other tournaments Yeah. 
a punishing round. Yeah, you can hear the grunts from Axelson, but it was worth the effort. Two points away from taking this second game. Yeah, that was a long, grueling rally. Yeah, 42 shots. We will be treated to a third game. There's a challenge. There's a challenge on it, yes. Victor XSO, challenger scored in. It's close. Whether it's in or not. It's out. What a great challenge. What a fabulous challenge. Correction. And it's now game point opportunities to level this final at one game apiece. 20, game point, 30. Play. the top of the tape there from Momota. And that's what I don't understand, that Momota is not doing this more, because he's got such 50, an excellent net 20. play. And he's not really using it, and he's taking something out of his game, which is very valuable. Opportunity. Second Victor Axelson converts. One game and he's won his first game against Momota in four years. 21 15. One game all and everything to play for. Level play. 
also his third and deciding game. Well, presumably, Morton, there wasn't really very much for Coach Jonasson to say because the way he was playing and winning points in the second game, he just wants them to continue. Absolutely, that was what it was all about. Yeah. But there's no doubt that uh, Vic Taxison is uh, very happy about the fact that you just pointed out he's won his first game in four years. Yeah. There is no doubt about that. And that's also why I said earlier, he's not only playing for this match, he's playing for many future matches as well. Yeah. Momota jumping up and down on the spot a couple of times already in this deciding game. I wonder if that's to try and relax himself or whether there's an injury problem. Oh, I think he just wants to get going. Wants to get the get, uh, legs going. That's a strong one. Yeah. Furious pace. It's amazing what self-confidence can do to a man's game. Four yeah. Love. We were talking earlier in the week, Morton, about the fact that he had gone to Spain for the Spain Masters, uh, a tournament where most of the top Asian players were only coming to Europe a, a week, week later. After, yeah. And he won the title, and that was, a, I think, was a very smart move because you need to get used to winning. Yeah, and he, of course, did not have the same kind of competition had all the Asian players been there. So it was a clever move uh, from the, yeah, whoever is planning it coaches yeah. him.
three. Thank you. Really well played. Of course, pushing it along on the back line, but he caught Momota there in the deep forehand corner. Four, five. But how many has he hit long? This he hits it uh, four out of five. Mm. And that's the four points to Momota. Yep, four points out of five. Mm. Axison is getting good confidence from getting his smashes down. But once again, I still Six, wonder why four. Momota is not trying to play some of his brilliant net play and really challenge uh, at the net rather than just lifting on most occasions. Just ticks over the hour Ready. mark. We didn't start the service. Kento. Five, six. Hit, but he did very, very Same well to take it off his right hip. Seven, five. Oh, that's a delightful shot. It <laughs> doesn't get better than that. Chance of getting <laughs> this one back at the net. Six. But look how seven. quickly it got up. <laughs> Hoping that the racket will hit it, <laughs> get it over. <laughs> well, you, you can't blame him for lack of effort. <laughs> no. It reminds me of someone. My brother always used to do that. Six, <laughs> seven. and look tired in that rally. Seven, all. Yeah, either he's tired or he's just 
maybe pretending to be tired. I, I'm not entirely sure. Why on earth would he pretend to be tired? Maybe wanting uh, Momota to rally a little bit with him. OK. pace now from Mamota. Yeah. Yeah. There's the follow-up with the follow-up. We also have to say that Mamota have not attacked cross-court one single time and we have played for more than Eight, an hour. Seven. Yeah. Cross-court from his backhand around the head situation. Yeah. Not once in an hour and five minutes or whenever, how much it is. An hour and three minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing that every single shot is coming down the line. Challenging. Yeah. Good challenge. Well, I think you're right. He is really, really tired. Yeah. Victor Axelson. I could see it a couple Challenge of rallies ago. Just wasn't the spring in the legs anymore. Yeah, but he. In the second end of the second game, he was doing the same, but he was not tired. So that's why I kind of yeah. thought that maybe he was play acting a little bit on it. Challenge unsuccessful. Service over. So just one challenge remaining in this deciding game for Axelson. Play. Longest rally. 27 shots. Yeah, that's terrific from Mamota. Turn. Yeah, and it set up the rally. But you have to admit to me that he doesn't look nine. that tired in that rally, for instance. Nice. No, but if players go through uh, patches and then they get the second wind and yes, they're I OK agree. again. Yeah. 
but he went through a, a rough patch there, physically. Oh, that is utterly brilliant. Yeah, and don't waste the challenge in that. No. Two-point advantage as they change ends in this deciding game. An hour and eight minutes into the match. Nakanishi and Clark Dubon. Well, there seemed to be more purposeful talk. There, Morton was yeah, there. Victor was saying he's not going to give me anything. I have to take it all by myself. Yeah. That was the first one. And then um, Jonasson was saying uh, you have to have a lot of change of pace in order to offset the rhythm. Yeah. where Momota did not dare to lift it. He was Ten, caught a bit 12. in the deep forehand corner. He had the option to go along on the back line. But he chose the net and Axelsen was waiting there. Great smash. He seemed to have a bit of a wobble before he moved to it. I can understand that because it was a big option there to go cross court for Exerson. Yeah. That was a big option. He played it once and sometimes he played twice and third time as well. So I can understand that Momota was hesitant. Yeah. And that's where he's using his net play, setting it up and really adding on the pressure here. He had the option to push him to the back line, he did not. He opted to play the net shot, and that's a big change. Thank you. Okay. 14, 11. 
Well, at this crucial stage, a little bit of psychological warfare there. Normally, in the men's singles, when a player asks to change the shuttle, they do so immediately. Yeah. But Mawalta saying no. Oh, oh that's, that's really well read. And you very, very seldom see Mamota celebrating, you know, like yeah. that after, after yeah. release. But look at that celebration there. Yeah. He's digging deep. They both are. the control of the net that you were talking about. Yeah, setting himself up very, very nicely 16, and closing the net down 11. and winning easy points. Doesn't have to work too much for it. It's like in golf when you putt. It's just a very, very short shot there. Well, this seems to be the decisive move, and it's come from the reigning world champion. Five straight points. to this net play, surely Axis should be keeping it away from the net. Yeah, play long net. Don't, yeah. don't get uh, Kenta Momota too close, that's what's happening here. Must play long net, keep him away from the net, must still move him. Yeah. 18, 11. Three points away from creating history. No player from Japan has ever won the men's singles title here at the All England Championships. Two points from the title. On a run of seven straight points. 19, 11. Well, he stopped the run after seven straight points, but 12, it will take 19. a monumental effort. But psychologically, here. I think this is very, very important for Vic Taxison. Still keep scoring, still getting a point, he's still trying to catch up. He might not win this one, but this is for the future. Yeah. Just a half smash, wasn't it? It was. It was all about the follow-up that you were talking about. Yeah. Place Hendon and the follow-up. Well, 
Oh, the surf has landed in. It's calling. It's, it's a challenge, though. Yeah, it's calling. Kenta Momota challenges. It's actually his first Eddie. challenge of the whole match. And I think he's right. I suspect he's right, too. And he really, from up here, looked out on that sideline. Waiting for Hawkeye on the giant screen. Um, Here we go. Aren't we all? Yeah, you were right. I was right. And Kento Momoto was right. What a great challenge. And his match point opportunities for the All England title. Serve is over. 20 match points, 14 play. What a save. What a way to save match point. That was a fantastic half smash again. Half smash, but very, very steep. 15, 20. The first player from Japan to win the men's singles title in the oldest and most prestigious annual international tournament there is in the sport of badminton. Three fascinating games, an hour and 20 minutes of terrific badminton. 21, 11, 15, 21, 21, 15 in the deciding game. What a match. And what a good place a men's singles is in. The new generation has arrived after years of dominance here at the All England from Lindan Chen Long and Li Chong Wei. We have new stars and a new chapter in history. The moment of victory. The All England Championship men's singles title belongs to Kento Mamota. Well, he must be absolutely delighted. Let's go courtside and find out what he has to say. Let's hear from our men's singles champion, Kento Momota of Japan. Chieko is going to interpret for us. Try and sum up how big and how important a win that is. This this is a tournament, everybody wants to win, so I'm really happy I got to this place. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it is the, the one everyone wants to win on the, on the circuit. Your opponent pushed you all the way. A quick word about Victor. Victor. Uh, 
えー、そうですね。彼のことは、えー、ライバルだと思ってますし、えー、これから二人でもっともっと高め合っていきたいなと思ってます。Yes, he is a good rival, and I, I hope we're going to keep、um, improving each other from now on too. Well, the standard is amazing. Do, does it increase the pressure on you being world number one, coming into huge events like this Super 1000 competition on the HSBC Tour? 世界ランキングの1位としてこの大きなスーパー1000に来られたんですけれどもそれによってあの特別にプレッシャーを感じられましたか、えー、そうですねすごいプレッシャーを感じたんですけど、えーまあ、たくさんの方が応援してくださって、えー、いつも以上の力が出せて、えー、今日はすごく、まあ、苦しかったんですけど楽しくプレーすることができました。Yes, of course, I felt the pressure, but I, I felt the support, and it was not easy. But because of everybody's support, I managed to win this tournament. So thank you very much.、Oh, that's a perfect way to leave it. Let's hear it for our champion, our men's singles champion from Japan, Kento Momota. A worthy champion. Kento Momota. World champion, world number one, and now All England champion as well. His 21st title in his 26th international tournament final. Well, Morton, I think that it is a step forward as far as Victor Axelson is concerned, much better in this match. Than his previous Absolutely,、ones. and that's what I said. He's, he's not only playing for this match, he's not only playing for this title, he's also playing for the future. And I think he did really well. And he proved that he's on his way back here. And the previous matches against Kento Momota is something in the past, and this is the way forward. Yeah. And when you consider that a year ago, neither of these men were in this tournament, Momota. His ranking was not high enough following his return from suspension, and Victor Axelson was just undergone ankle surgery. Two players that missed the 2018 version of the All England produce a wonderful men's singles final here in 2019. A moment of victory. Yeah, that hurt. He had to dig deep. But it was all worth it. The All England crown. And it was lovely that he reiterated what I had just said about this being the tournament, the title that all the players want to win. The history, the tradition. All adds to the status. The winning shot. So the men's singles finalists will go for the presentation. So let's go courtside and join Howard Bentham. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the 2019 Yonex All England Open men's singles. Presentations will be made by Diana Troke, President of Badminton England, Paul Eric Hoyer, President of the Badminton World Federation, and Ben Yonayama, Chairman of Yonex Company Limited. The 2019 men's singles runner up from Denmark, Victor Axelsen. Well, he said earlier today that it was a dream come true to be in an All England final. I can assure you 
the, the real dream would have been to win. But a very, very proud moment for Victor Axelsson. The 2019 Yonex All England Open men's singles champion from Japan, Kento Momota! Kento Momota. He came as favourite and he has delivered. Paul Eric Hoyer. Twice winner of the All England title himself and now president of the BWF and IOC member presents Momota with his medal and the winning shuttle. And the trophy presented by Ben Yoniyama. Ladies and gentlemen of Yonex Company. Your Yonex for the moment for Mamolta. Astonishing height difference between the two men. final it was and oh, what a wonderful finals day it's been three of our five matches going the full distance so as he poses for the photographers a chance for us to look back and it all started with women's doubles and the former world champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan beat the reigning world champions in an hour and 23 minutes three thrilling games coming from a game down then it was women's singles and Tai Su Ying was trying to win a third consecutive title but Chen Fei of China recorded her first ever victory over Tai Su Ying when playing her for a 12th time and it was two straight games as you can see 41 minutes in total then it was men's doubles and a son and Seti won despite the fact that Seti won was clearly injured they came through they used all their guile and the experience to overcome the young Malaysians chart and so in three games then it was mixed doubles which was a repeat of last year's final but it was a reverse result the world champions this year are beating Watanabe and Higashino in two straight games and it was remarkable because they came from 4-12 down in that second game before winning it 22-20 and as we've just witnessed in the men's singles Kento Momoto the reigning world champion and current world number one beating the former world champion and former world number one Victor Axelsson he now extends his winning streak to 10 consecutive victories over Victor Axelsson it was an hour and 20 minutes it's been a wonderful for all England uh, the world tour moves on to Switzerland next week but from all of us here in Birmingham from Morton Frost and myself Jill Clark until the next time bye for now